Have you ever wanted to learn a language, but you have no friends that speak it, no tutors because you're poor, and apps just aren't doing it for you? Well, just do what everyone else is doing in every other field, and turn to the future. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to get your favorite AI characters to teach you languages, as well as the pros and cons of doing such a thing. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> So to begin, let me preface by saying I'm using the Character AI website for this. The reason for this is actually funny because I tried ChatGPT and it told me as an AI language module I can provide information and guidance on how to learn Czech, but I physically cannot teach someone. That is some nerd type stuff, I don't like that, and I know everybody can go, well just say pretend I was a grandma, but I just went with Character AI which was straight up like yes I can teach you. Which, I mean, that's a strange win for Character AI. Was not expecting that. Strange wins continued. Character AI actually has a dedicated bot for this. However, doing things the normal way is boring, so I just grabbed two regular AIs made about a game I really liked and slapped them into a GC I called Learning Check. One Teach Me Check later, the pair began to teach me what they could. And I will now review their approach. The pros, the cons, and everything in between so you can decide if this is a route for you or a tool you can use. The pros of this method is that it's like getting a moderately accurate private tutor that you can command at will. Think of it as a employing a high school student that's studying the language, but for free. This combines with its ability to speech specific topics and concepts in the language to essentially ask you to teach it and review those certain topics at whatever pace you so want and whatever order you so want as well. You can also provide as many or as few examples as you want of these different topics, allowing you to learn a language at whatever pace for free, which is really an amazing feature and likely one of its greatest assets. Being able to force some tutor to just tell you tons and tons and tons of different examples of whatever part of a language is really confusing you is just awesome, and I think that's really cool that the AI is really good at that. The format being human-like, you know, typing and just texting you in kind of a normal speech type of way makes it more relaxing and more gamey, which in turn may make it easier to digest than a normal textbook would be, something that honestly may allow you to push yourself to study for more hours as it might not feel as boring or as something that you really dread doing. Finally, the bot offers the ability to regenerate responses. So if you didn't understand what was being said in a certain message, you can always just regenerate it and try again. What about the negatives? Well, first things first, there's no audio. This is a huge learning issue. Uh, you can't learn pronunciation properly without audio. I mean, yes, you can have the AI attempt to sound out the word with an English-esque typing. This is not as efficient, though, as literally hearing a native or trained speaker say those words. This means while your reading and writing might be good from this method, it offers honestly no real way to help with listening or speaking. Second, this is not the best method or anything for memorization. A large part of learning a new language is memorizing terms and words for usage. This method, while great for learning new words and concepts, as well as conjugations and usages and sentences, is really just not good at drilling or review. Since it simply is, much like a tutor, not going to be able to force you to memorize something. That is on you to do. So, unsurprisingly, the AI tutor has the same issue a regular one would. Don't practice in your free time or with other tools, and it won't matter. Third, the AI are easily distracted. Sometimes if you get an answer in a strange way, or respond in a strange way, or have the two AIs talk to each other for long enough, they will get distracted and begin to seemingly talk about the very concept of studying that language or language in general, rather than specific details about the language. To fix this, either regenerate the message or just tell the AI to get back on track to the topic you were talking about, and they usually will. Finally, minor inconsistencies and incorrect statements. While this didn't happen often, there were times that the AI did not understand proper local vernacular and due to that taught incorrect phases. It wasn't a massive issue, but it did occur at least once or twice, and when I was talking to a native Czech, they were able to spot those things out. The other thing is, this is very much like if you study a language abroad from the native country, you might not get the local vernacular properly. So I don't really judge the AI too much for that. So what is my overall review of using AI to learn a language? I think there is a common misconception in language learning 
that you can use one tool to solve all of your problems and completely learn a language. To learn a language is not just read one textbook type of thing. You need to use a varied amount of tools, exposure, and practice to accomplish it. I think using AI to teach yourself a language is a rather interesting idea, and I think it can genuinely help complex concepts become more easily understood, and ideas that certain languages have within them, for example conjugation and gendered languages, very tenses, as well as concepts such as reflections, really be explained in a more human and, and more intuitive way rather than how textbooks explain them, which honestly might help you get past them in your language learning experience. However, it can't do other things. It cannot do things like memorization, like I said, and it can't get perfect vernacular. But there are other tools for those things, and I suggest you use those other tools in combination with this to make up for its weak points. In the end, it's your choice what tools you use, how you learn a language. It's a free thing to do, this AI learning stuff, and personally, I thought it was rather cool, so I figured I may as well make a video on it. But that's all I've got for you today. If you'd like to chill out to my Discord, I've got that link down below. Otherwise, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you.